What is going on people? Welcome back to the channel guys. So it is officially winter guys. It is cold. It is January. We're at the peak of the winter season and a lot of my fellow anglers out there having a really really hard time catching bass. Well that's because this time of year the bass really like to turn off and they're really not as active as they are say summer or springtime. They're really more lethargic and they're sitting still. So you really need to throw something out there that's really going to have to grab their attention and make them like really give you that reaction strike and really just go for the bait. So that's why I have today five of my go-to winter baits for super cold water bass fishing. Now the first one is one that y'all see me use here a lot lately. It's even caught a flathead catfish and that is of course uh, this. It is a white chatter bait. Uh, really no band preference. Really the cheaper the better and you don't really need like a $13 chatter bait to catch bass in the winter time. Now the key thing here is the weight of the chatter bait. You really want to go for a 3 8 ounce to probably about a half ounce and if you got really like deep lakes you can even go up to a full ounce on your chatter bait but the color is really 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 important. Now here in Texas we have a lot of shad, a lot of bait fish but mainly a lot of shad and they give off that like shiny like glitter look and it's almost white. Now if you look really close on this chatterbait, you'll see if it'll focus that it has like some silver uh, lines in that white hair. So it's really going to give like the look of a shad. So that's really really what you want to go for. I don't know what area you're in, but you always want to look and see what your bait fish are. If you have more perch than shad, then you probably want to go with a perch pattern chatterbait. They have the green, the blue, the purple, and that will look exactly like a perch. But here in Texas, we have a lot of shad, so white is definitely what you want to go for. Now, if y'all are wondering what trailer I have, it's very simple. That is just a fluke tail. But when it's in the water, that fluke tail just goes back and forth like that. So it gives really good action. So you have the head shaking, you have the big hook right here, and then you have this tail just shaking back and forth. So when this goes past a bass, he has no choice but to give you a reaction strike and go for this bait. So that's why this is my number one right here. I really, really like the chatter bait. I really enjoyed throwing it last year, and hopefully this year I'll do the same and have some really, really good catches with this. Now the next one is kind of in the same profile. Uh, we're still moving a little bit slow here. We're going low and slow, and then we'll speed up as we go. But the next one here is just a swim bait that is on a Fusion. Um, I forgot what size this is. It, but it's on a fusion hook. You got the twist tip and then, then this is just a Kitek. I think it's like a four inch swim bait. Now I really, 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 really like the Kitek swim baits because they are so durable. You can catch like five bass on this and sure the teeth will probably have the tail hanging off but as soon as, as soon as you throw it in that water that tail will start moving again and I use these things until they are completely destroyed. But the reason you want to use the Kitek is because like I said the bass are pretty lethargic so sometimes you want to go low and slow right in front of them and this Kitek swim bait is going to give you a lot of paddle tail action. It is going to mimic a shad or a bait fish and as soon as the bass sees this they're going to go for it. Now another thing I really like about these fusion hooks is you can kind of skin tag them into the swim bait so when you go across a log or grass or something like that you're really not going to get hung up which is really really nice especially if you're throwing around uh, structure, logs, uh, uh, flooded trees, anything like that or you're uh, going with, with hydrilla. Hydrilla is like it's like string. Once it like hooks on your hook it's super hard to get out and it's just a pain in the butt and no one wants to deal with that. So one thing that this swim bait has that the chatterbait doesn't is you can skin tag that hook that way you're not getting stuck on every little thing down there and you can give this bait a chance to get down there, get submerged and get in front of a bass and get bit. So that is one of these reasons why I picked this and that's why I usually always like to throw fusion hooks on my swim baits is because you can do that little simple trick right there and it saves you from getting caught and it saves you so much time being on the water so you have to worry about like retrieving your hook retrieving your bait so that is another reason why I'll go with that and Kitek just simply because they are the most durable right now now if you want to you can even throw a fluke trailer on the back of that and it'll still work just the same but most of the time I try to go for that paddle tail just to have that little bit more action because sometimes that little bit will go a long way and that paddle tail just doing that, like that huge like back and forth motion is what is going to get you that strike. That is why that is so, so important. Now we're going to speed up a little bit with our baits. Next one is one of my favorites and it is the KVD Red Eye Shad lipless uh, crankbait aka the rattle trap whatever you want to call it uh, I call it the rattle trap because it has no lip it's super thin and narrow and when you're going in the water this thing rattles like crazy so you have a whole lot of noise and it shakes back and forth in the water like that super super fast with this bait you can cover a whole lot of water uh, really fun to throw they're super fast super noisy so if there's any bass in the area they will definitely hear this 
and that'll get their attention. Now, this is like a shad color right here, but a lot of times what I really, really like to throw is that all, all red, red eye shad, the one that looks like a crawfish, because something about that red, especially in the muddier water instead of clear water, if you throw it in muddier water, the red just sticks out like a sore thumb and it just gets smacked every single time and it is great. But yes, definitely uh, one of these, the KVD Red Eye Shad, I think they're like five, six bucks at Walmart. They're not relatively expensive, so it's something you can get and throw out there. And if you get it stuck, which you probably will because those two treble hooks at the bottom, and you can just get a new one, but it is perfectly fine. But definitely during the winter time, a fast moving bait like this that mimics bait fish in your area is definitely gonna get you smacked and get you hooked up on those big, big bass. Uh, but yeah, really love this bait. Now we're gonna move on to uh, the more, I guess, bigger ones, and that is the crankbaits. Now this is the six cents crankbait. I got this because it mimics a shad perfectly with those details. Here, let me get that to focus. Look at that. You can almost see the scale pattern. You can see it on top. So these baits are really, really nice. So if you think you have bass out there that are sitting like deeper and deeper and deeper, like I'm talking 15 to 20 feet, then you're gonna definitely wanna get one of these six cents deep divers because they will get down there and they will get the job done. They're gonna find those bass that are super suspended and hanging low and hiding. And then a lot of times you're gonna be bouncing it right off those rocks and the bass is gonna hear that. Yeah, there it is. Those are knockers in there. <laughs> I was looking for them. But yeah, they have those knockers in there. So when it's hitting those rocks, you just hear, there's that bouncing off. So anytime there's bass super suspended, like I said, uh, definitely throw a deep diver. Uh, also have one in the crawfish pattern, which I had, wish I had in the lipless crankbait, but it's perfectly fine. But yes, definitely a crawfish pattern as well during the winter time is gonna get you bit. So always have, you know, your options open. So if you're not getting anything on, let's say, you know, the shad pattern, definitely go for that crawfish pattern because that is gonna be your next runner up, especially if you're in muddier waters like we are here in East Texas, like I said, that crawfish is gonna be your saving grace right there. And they are just great. Really good deep divers. Uh, I forgot which, yeah, they don't say on here what type, but they are uh, just the six cents deep divers. I love these a lot. They're really good, really durable. I really love the treble hooks. They are really sharp, super nice. And they have like a little indent into them. So you get that really, really good pull. They are just really, really nice. I love deep diving crank baits. There is nothing more than feeling your bait hitting those rocks and not knowing when it's just gonna get smacked. It is amazing. Now, the final bait I have, when all else fails, sometimes slow and steady wins the race. And I am talking about the jig right here. Now, this is a one ounce jig because um, in the winter, you want to get down there quick, you want to get down there deep, and you're going to be tossing this under docks, under structure, anything like that, just looking for those winter bass. And uh, a lot of times those bass will stay in hidden under docks, under trees, and just sit there and submerge and just wait for an ambush for a bait. So if you're throwing low and slow like this, and you have the big skirt, and you got the crawl, like paddle tails, and when it hits, it just starts flaring up like that, that is really going to grab that bass's attention, and that bass is really just want to go hammer it and just get it done. So when all else fails, and you've thrown fast, you've thrown every Everything. You throw this crankbait, the swim bait, the chatterbait, and they are not just going for that. Sometimes slow and steady wins the race, and you definitely want to go for a jig right here. This is a diesel jig, half ounce. It's got a crawfish trailer, and it will definitely get the job done. So when all else fails, guys, throw the jig. All right, guys, so those are my five go-to baits for winter bass fishing. I really hope you can take this video and take these baits and apply them to your fishery and where you fish at and catch some absolute monsters this winter, guys. So if you could please like and subscribe to the Dark Little Action channel, hit that notification bell down there for us so you can get notified of more awesome videos like this drops. And if y'all like watching more bait and tackle reviews just like this video right here, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to do more of these for y'all. It's way easier than me going out there and fishing because I can just sit right here on my couch and talk about things already know. Guys, I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace!